Today I'm here to give you a very quick guide to leveling in Season 5. This is not meant to be the absolute fastest path to 100. Instead, I'm going to provide an outline that mixes efficiency with fun, trying the new modes, and I'll give you some tips to make your journey to 100 a smooth one. I'll provide the bullet points in the description for you to come back and reference as you play. Let's get started. So obviously you're going to make a new seasonal character in World Tier 2, jump right in and grab any seasonal quests immediately. Do the first couple quests to unlock the seasonal board. Don't forget to equip your pet like I did so you can pick up all the loot. And then you're going to proceed to wherever the Helltide area is. Look for the red zone on the map. Get in there and kill stuff until at least level 15. But I ended up getting a random group invite so I stayed until the Helltide ended and I left at level 25. It took about 45 minutes. Now go back to town, grab your pet if you didn't right away like a noob, temper some of your gear. Temper recipes from the previous season transferred to this season. It was not intended, but Bliss had already confirmed that they are going to leave it. Tempering in the early game is simple. Just put Elemental Surge on your weapons, Natural Finesse on your jewelry, and Health on everything else. Boots, movement speed, doesn't matter. Do not skip this step. Don't forget to upgrade your health potion while you're in town. And also don't forget to craft and use the potions that give you extra XP as soon as you can. Do not worry too much about enchanting just yet. At level 15 or once you leave your first Helltide, go complete your class quest. So here you can pop back into the Helltides if you want, but I went for the seasonal quest line because it's new. It opens up what's called a Hellbreach dungeon, which is just a little introduction to the Infernal Horde mode later on, and it gives you a ton of loot if you manage to crush it. Now you may find that some of the more advanced guys breaking down the XP per hour may suggest doing Helltides at this point, but I suggest you keep following the seasonal quest line, which will take you through three different Hellbreach dungeons. Another very valid option here is to look at your Codex of Power and target farm any of the aspects you'll need for whatever build that you're running, whatever you're having the most fun with. Once you're level 35, you should be ready to tackle the first capstone dungeon found right here in Kyova Shot. I went in at level 32, but I was feeling pretty powerful as a chain lightning sorcerer. Now, before you attempt the capstone dungeon, now is a good time to possibly enchant some of your gear if you need it, throw on some new tempers, craft some gems, and put in any available sockets, stretch, do a couple push-ups, check your build, and get your ass in there. Once you beat the capstone, head to the statue in Kyoba Shad and switch it to World Tier 3. You probably got another round of upgrades in the capstone, so make sure you swap them out, temper up, and get ready for the next challenge. Whatever build you're running, find out what regular dungeons will provide those aspects for your build and lock in some key pieces if you haven't done that already. If World Tier 3 feels too difficult at this point, don't feel bad about jumping down to World Tier 2 to get a few of those key aspects I just talked about needed to push you to the next level. Once you're comfortable enough, proceed with either the seasonal quest lines in World Tier 3 or get into Helltide and kill some stuff. So in previous seasons, and what I originally planned to was to spend a lot more time in the Helltides, but I had fun going through the seasonal quest line that opens up the Infernal Horde, which seems to just dump XP on me, and this brought me all the way to around level 50. And now if you haven't been doing this or keeping up with this already, don't forget to check your battle pass to see if you have any ashes to give you an XP boost. Around levels 50 or 55, it'll be time for the next capstone dungeon so you can go to World Tier 4. Before you go into the next capstone, make sure you do all of your gear chores before you attempt it. By now you should have access to many more build defining tempers if you didn't already have them from last season. Make sure your fire resistance is as high as you can find because you'll need it for this one. Tempering is a good way to achieve this. Once you take on the second capstone dungeon, things can get a little tricky in World Tier 4. Some say to jump right into nightmare dungeons or solo hell tides. Now depending on your power level, another tactic that I like to do is run into the hell tide area and find where the maiden is being summoned. Best case scenario, there's a group chain summoning this and you'll level like crazy while filling your bags with ancestral gear. Now, the biggest thing that will smooth out your transition to World Tier 4 is finding 925 item level weapons. You can do this by looking out for a world boss spawn and take him down. By now, you should be ready to start your Nightmare Dungeon grind, and believe me, it is a grind. Now, you can stick with Nightmare Dungeons all the way to level 100, and here's some tips. If you're not following a build guide, you may want to consider it at this point. This is a personal preference, but if you're not experienced in the Paragon board and how certain legendaries interact with one another, the game could be difficult for you. And you're going to want to find or create your own build that provides big AOE clears because the events in Nightmare Dungeons provide the most XP per hour by a long shot, especially if you can clear the summon packs extremely fast. Now, as you're leveling in Nightmare Dungeons, focus on leveling all of your glyphs to at least level 15, but preferably to level 21 so you can focus on the other endgame activities once you're level 100. Once you feel strong enough, you can start increasing the gap between your level and the monster levels for more and more experience because last season, 
The XP cap was 10 levels above your level, but now for season five, it's 30 levels above your level. So crank that beat up and see what you can handle. Now, if you want to use a dungeon tier list to cherry pick the dungeons that give you the most bang for your buck, I've done it. But these days, it's easy enough to just blast whatever sigils that you have if you don't have a second monitor or you'd rather just keep it in game. Now, you can do other activities as well. And I do suggest changing things up a bit from time to time because the nightmare grind to 100 can be, well, a nightmare and can take a lot out of a guy. And with that being said, profane mine cages are back this season and you can stack them three times so you can hit that XP cap. Alternatively, the infernal horde mode gives tons of XP in your 60s. The level two caps monsters at 75 and level three spawns them at level 100, so keep that in mind. But like hell tides, you can't upgrade your glyphs in there, so you might as well save those for when you're a bit stronger. And that's it, you're on your way to a level 100. The end game guide will be out later, so like and subscribe, thank you.